mileage 520. Uh, parked in a different location than I normally would in this area, so I'm not sure where I'm going. It's about 38 degrees, breezy. Yeah, man, this is the uh, official trailhead. I'm going into the upper Buffalo Wilderness, the K Park area. Place I parked. It might have been a little bit shorter than uh, I usually would, but not great. I'm gonna be following this trail in for a ways. two or three years since I've been in this area. Whew. There's a huge mud hole there was on the road coming in and they finally, finally fixed it. There is a waning crescent of a moon up there. It is a beautiful starry morning. It appears to be quite clear. The wind is still here. It had really bad wind the last couple of days, but if you look to the left of the trail, you will not see Turner Ward Knob in that direction. Named after Jim Bob, the Turner Ward. Circa 1840. At the house at Camp Pine Stump. They're slowly, been there a little more than a year, we're slowly getting a fair amount of birds. <clears throat> uh, for some reason, no mockingbirds in that area. Looks like they tend to like it in uh, populated areas better for some reason. Um, but lots of hummingbirds. Not yet. I think we've seen one. Yeah, but I've been here on a cardinal. We put up a bluebird box and we got a we got a pair occupying that. Uh, crows, hawks, owls, buzzards. I an assorted other pheasant style birds. As usual, I, I ain't exactly sure, but I think the first time I ever entered this area was uh, 2010, 2011. Yeah, there's the uppermost reaches of uh, Bowers Hollow, Bowers Hollow Creek, Bowers Hollow Creek. The uh, trail continues on uh, above. I'll drop down into it here shortly. I think we're going right here though. Good by high. Uh, maybe I will. And two slips. Almost nearly. And little rocks. Down in there just yet. Why 
sliding up a little bit. Now I'm gonna drop down into the creek. I think it's a little bit wider over here. Ah, it's a day of slippage. A little pair. It's the creek in Bowers Hollow. Bowers Hollow Creek. Bowers Creek. Call it what you will. Whew. No matter what you call it, you must call it deadly. Today is April 4th. It's a Thursday. It's early spring here in the Ozarks, and there's lots of little flowers here and there. Well, maybe not lots, but some. And there it is, mine. The top of Bowers Hollow Falls. I'll just look at it. Look at it. Seven, no it's not, it's six twenty-eight. Sunrise is about seven oh one. Alright. I read it is my look at that. Three hundred and sixty-five feet from top to bottom. Well just be sure you do not slip there. Or if you do. Well, I think you know, death would ensue. It would ensue hard. Got a couple of owls. Uh, same good morning. Oh, possibly. I'll get it on. I'm not sure. Uh, one or the other. Uh, Tour Blitzer. Just now, beginning their morning songs. Listen to those damn twerplets, man. Is that cute little puppy? I think I got up, got up about 30 minutes late. Oh, yeah. I went to bed here earlier. But yes, what would a morning hike be without does? Here we have a side hollow coming in. Drops over the edge. Alright, back to the side hollow. The waterfall there. Very damn tall teeth. Nice. Alright, man. I think this is gonna be. Stop for the morning. All right, man, it's an eye upon sunrise. An eye upon. Still think it's about 38 degrees. A little bit of wind. It's quite lovely.
It's 7.20. That sun didn't take, uh, didn't take much time at all to get on up. Uh, it's quite bright. I prefer a few clouds, but there's lots of bounties down there. there. Lots of blueberries. Oh, pine cedars. All right, man, it's uh, 725. Yeah, go ahead and move on down the bus line. Lots of little twerplets. Can't quite make out what they are. It almost looks like a way down right there, but uh, it's not. I don't think. I think it drops right off. Can't remember. Oh yes, good morning to the dilapidated woodpecker. They always say good morning and they always say good night just before the sun goes down. About three feet, at least three feet across at the base. Okay, this is where I should have been this morning. That's Cody. I'll just look at it. Yeah. I think I could get up on her if I wanted to, but I... Hmm. Yep, yeah, look at that tree. Quiet. Whoops. impressed by this so that is Bowers Hollow heading west upstream towards Bowers Hollow Falls broad kind of broad or well, somewhat broad some might say broad but not really that broad just averagely broad okay what Nice. 
kind of hard to see anything this time of day with the sun looking right at it but yeah this is where Bowers Hollow meets the buffalo Nice hole. That's real nice. Real nice hole. Look at these damned boys. I think I'm gonna have to get up on that shelf up there. This is a bit uh, too much sidewalking, which I ain't particularly into. And yes, he's up on the shelf. It's log riding time. Looking right into the sunrise. And uh, I don't see a cloud in the sky. I really don't. This is time for another adventure of Johnny Boulder. I tried Johnny Boulder and his adventures in the shrubbery. Not only does Johnny Boulder venture among the boulders, he also adventures among the timber trash. The timber trash. Oh my yeah. I am the Oh hang on. Oh my yeah. And this concludes this week's adventure of Johnny Bowler. Join us next week when Johnny falls down a mine shaft and there's no one there to help him. Get a raggedy upper bluff line up there on top. And now there comes the damn wind. Downhill wind. Downhill to hell. And your family too. I tell you, man, this, uh, this shelf is holding up real nice. It uh, ain't played out or nothing. And it ain't been real uh, brushy. Ain't been too damn rocky. Look at that, man. Shit. Nice buffalo down there. That's a pretty good view. Pretty good angle. Have you looked at it? Come on, man. I'm standing there all day waiting for you to look at it. I hear a cardinal. Whew. That river's got a, a decent flow. You know, you can't ride too many damn logs in the forest.
think there might be somebody living in that hole. Oh, Looks like. Oh, there's the buffalo again, looking down scream. There's a couple of huge pouches down there, but I don't think there's any way to get up on them. Good ass boulder right down there. I need a nice hole. I need a waterfall over. Yeah, man, that's uh, well, this is pretty short hollow. Uh, Hub Hubbard Hollow, named after Jim Bob Hubbard. He lived here in uh, 1829 with his wife Susie. They had a cabin. Right over there, somewhere. It's completely gone. But I'd say Jim, Bob, and Susie had a had a pretty damn nice view. Lots of things in the forest you can't beat. I bought a big ass beech tree with a nice hole. Now that's something. That's something you ain't gonna beat. Not you. I mean, I can beat it easy, but, but you ain't gonna. <laughs> well, all right, man. We got the. I got. A Jim Bob Hubbard Creek right here. That's a cute little creek. Just look at it. It's very cute. Look at that little overhanging rock right there, man. Shit. Check out uh, a Jimbo Hubbard Falls right there. And as usual, the waterfall made useless by Timber Trash. Let's see if uh, let's see if we can get over here. Oh, there's a better view. Huh. 
And the trash everywhere. But look at that bluff out there, man. I ain't bad. There you go. You get rid of that tree, and that'd be too bad. Tons of boulders, man. Look at all them boulders. That place was falling apart. It's time for your bushcraft tip of the day. Well, this is a simple one. You find an overhang like this and hunker down, man. Hunker right down in there. Cover yourself with some leaves. Hell yeah. Eat some grubs. The lower end of Hubbard Hollow, but just before it enters the buffalo. Washroom square rocks right there, square indentation. Bulge, dude. Real nice. Now back down to Jim Bob Hubbard Creek above the farm. Well, it's early, but I think I'm gonna have lunch right here. Unfortunately, there's timber trash, but I'm just going to have to overlook it. I'd say that's a pretty decent place to eat lunch. Got some sun. Got some creek action.
There you go. All right, man, it's uh, time to head on up. Yeah, man, that lunch was uh, pretty damn good. Uh, nothing unusual about it. Sandwich, chips. Oh, crap, man. That would have been a great place to eat. I could have leaned up right there. Oh, well. I didn't think it was going to be as windy today as it was yesterday, but damned if it ain't. That's a stupid squirrel. Come here, boy. You. Yeah, you don't know what to think of me, do you? Yeah, you better run up that tree. Oh, that's a cute little butterfly. Look at the size of that posture. That is, uh, that is one big ass tree. Uh, Pears, he went down hard. I'm Pears. It's about 51 degrees. Well, I've seen lots of dogwoods, but they just had leaves. This is the first one I've seen that uh, I actually got some, some bracts on its ass. There's another butterfly, as cute as that other one. I think that hawk is saying he was uh, wanted to come down and partake of my loins. How about now? Oh, there it is. Look at this little blueberry patch right under this little group of pine trees. This goes to show you how much they like acidic soil. There's a whole tiny grove of uh, oh, whole tiny grove of little baby dogwoods. Little babies. Uh, just hooked back up to the trail. Is that a good thing? I don't know. There's a lot of wetness up in this uh, this stretch. Yeah, back to the uh, trailhead, I need to I'll sign out. There we go. Roaches, ants, granddaddies. All right, officially signed out. Thank you. I'm getting close, just got to cut through these woods here. All right, there it is. Uh, it's uh, 11.25. Oh, I'm still gonna guess around 50, uh, 52 degrees maybe.
Clifford Ford.